up with you guys? It is your boy West Coast. So yo, man, as you guys see to the left, Ezekiel Elliott was running crazy last night, man. My boy had 10 carries for 52 yards. And by far, he was the best offensive player last night on a very bad offense. Last night, my boy Zeke got five to seven yards on eight of his carries of ten of his eight of his carries last night. And let's just be real. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers had absolutely no answers for Ezekiel Elliott. In that first half, man, he was running all over the place. Um, three of his carries in a row, he got six yards. Then on his next carry, he got three yards. Then on the very next carry, my dude got seven yards on the first down. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, the Dallas Cowboys offense did exactly what they always do whenever Ezekiel Elliott gets rolling. For whatever reason, they absolutely choose to go away from him. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, they decided to do that again because there was no reason for the Dallas Cowboys to abandon the run the way they did, especially with Ezekiel Elliott running the way he was running. Now, I, you guys know I'm Mr. Run the Damn Ball, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I gotta be a little bit more specific with my Run the Damn Ball for the spec, simple Mac of this. There was a difference between when Tony Pollard was running the ball last night and when Zeke was running the ball last night. There was a huge difference. The hugest difference was what? the positive yards that Zeke was getting and the pass blocking that Zeke was also providing. I'm going to tell you this right now. A lot of people hated on Zeke and a lot of people said that Zeke was washed. And I told y'all from the beginning of this year that Zeke was still that dude and Zeke was still him. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. He showed you guys that on 10 carries last night for 52 yards, averaging 5.2 yards per carry. And let's just be real. Kellen Moore robbed us of two touchdowns because, man, we were running the ball so well in that first quarter that if we went, if we don't do the dumb trick plays, we could have just ran our way right into the end zone. Why? Because they could not stop Zeke. They could flat out not stop him last night, man. So salute to my boy Zeke because Zeke is back. We just got to make a conscious decision to run the damn ball. I think we can all agree that the Dallas Cowboys are making a conscious decision not to run the damn ball. So now we need to make a conscious decision to run the damn ball. And it stand, starts with handing the ball off to 21 because he definitely looks like he's ready. Zeke is back. To be honest with you, he never really left. He just got injured last year. But Zeke is back for y'all who believe he left somewhere. You guys already know what it is. Never look down because the star's up. And I'm going to end it with this. Now that Zeke Dak is injured, we need to run the ball more. Let Zeke be the best player on this team, and we'll probably be all right. You already know what it is. Never look down because the star's up.